After completing the system setup, let's install a mobile decoder into an engine. There are a few tools needed for this installation. Soldering iron and a coarse solder, double-sided tape, wire cutters, and a small screwdriver. The NMRA has standards for wiring of a decoder into an engine, and we will discuss the proper format. Please see your decoder manual for complete wiring instructions. Our example decoder has seven wires color-coded to the NMRA standard. First remove the shell of the engine so that the chassis is exposed. Next cut the engine leads to the track wire leads. Be sure to insulate the motor from the chassis and the track pickups. Connect the gray wire of your decoder to the negative pole of the motor lead. Use the orange wire of your decoder to connect to the positive lead of your motor. Use the black wire of the decoder to connect to the left side of the engine's track pickup. Now connect the red lead of the decoder to the right side or the engineer's side of the engine track pickup. At this point you should be able to run your engine with the newly installed decoder. Most of the DCC decoders come with a default address of 3. We will use this address to run the engine. Place the engine on the track. Let's install the front and rear headlights. Please see your decoder manual for the correct bulbs to be used. You may have to install a small resistor for correct voltage. Connect the white and blue wires of the decoder to the front headlight. Test the front headlight by addressing the cab or the throttle to address 3 and press the function 0 key. Now install the rear headlight by following the decoder manual and hook up the yellow and blue wire leads to the light bulb. Test the bulb by pressing function 1 on the throttle. Use the throttle by turning the dial for acceleration. You should be able to control your engine at this point. It's time now to replace the shell and place your engine on your layout for duty.